Hey guys, hey, welcome to a quick episode of a vlog. So as you can see, I'm in the bathroom and it's not by mistake because I'm actually in Calgary right now uh, for a conference and I'm just gonna give you a quick view of my room here. It's quite nice. It's just a view of a bit of downtown Calgary right here. Pretty nice, right? I think that's the River Valley area right there. So on my way to Calgary, I just couldn't help it. I saw this uh, flea market on the way here and I just had to make a detour on the highway, scooting off the highway onto this dirt road um, just to uh, get into those sheds that were set up. It's a rural area, so they didn't have any connections to the internet or anything. I couldn't pay with the debit card, but I could pay with cash. Fortunately, I had just $11 on me, and $11 is really all I needed to pick up these two beautiful cameras, which I'm going to show you right now. So, let's start with this one here. This camera here is the Polaroid one step sona one step pronto land camera it's a really beautiful camera just look at this and i got this camera for five dollars i especially wanted to show you guys this camera in this state uh, just to let you know that you really have to look past the dirt as i have always been saying now this camera was in a bag of it looked like trash really and you can just tell just by looking at the outside of this camera if you were to pay too close of an attention to how dirty and grimy this camera actually looks you might pass on a, on a really good camera see when I saw this I mean look at the viewfinder alone look at how grimy it looks how dirty and dingy that looks when I saw this camera I knew that this was actually a gem even though it looks so dirty and so grimy when I saw this, there were some key areas that I, I looked at. I looked at whether or not the shutter fires. Actually, there's film loaded in there. When I opened it, unfortunately, I exposed it. I would have really loved to not expose it. And I just wound it, so let's see if it fires. It actually fires, and you can see the shutter open in there. Um, let me take off the lens. Close attention. Now, even though the outside of the camera is so grimy. Take a look at how beautiful the inside of the camera looks. Look at the glass. The glass is spotless. And look at that. It looks amazing inside. And that's what really matters. You can actually tell that this camera is actually in good shape. It's not <laughs> just about the dirt on the outside guys if you saw a camera like this look past the dirt as I keep on telling you guys look past the dirt and look at the things that actually do matter the mechanical aspects whether or not the winder moves is important whether or not the shutter fires is very important and also take a look at the mirror and you can see that the mirror is in excellent shape, which highlights exactly what I have been trying to explain to uh, those of you guys that are interested in film cameras. This is what really matters. And as far as this is concerned, this camera is great. I'm actually going to clean this thing up and I'll show you the end result. And another thing that I was careful about looking at is whether or not there was um, fungus in the lens. Fortunately, there's a bit of dust on the outside here. I'm sure when I clean it up, it's going to be just fine. But I don't see any fungus build up on the inside of this lens, which is really, really good sign. From the just a cursory observation of this camera, this is actually a very good camera. And of course, same thing applies to this camera as well. Even though this camera looks quite grimy on the outside as well, as you can see, look at the lens. The lens is in great shape right there. There's a better view. 
the viewfinder is in great shape. Another thing that I was worried about for this camera was whether or not this grime that you see is actually on the inside of it or on the outside. And I verified before I purchased it. And it's actually on the outside of this viewfinder. So it can be cleaned. And I'll show you guys after I clean this up. So you're going to ask me how much did I pay for this? This whole camera is beautiful SLR. Which I can easily sell for about $300. I've actually sold one for $350 in the past on Amazon. And this camera, I bought this camera for $5. So, if I were to sell this, I'll be making quite a healthy uh, profit. So, there you go, guys. Hey, so it's a beautiful morning in Calgary, and I'm ready for my day here. But I just want to show you guys the cameras in their newfound glory, because last night I did spend some time disinfecting uh, the cameras. And look at this. All clean and disinfected. This is very nice looking right now. All the grime has been wiped off and it's been cleaned properly. I took the pains to go through all the little crevices and just to make sure that I clean it properly. And look at this one as well. This one actually looks like new. See how nice that looks? beautiful cameras. So this is how I like my cameras to look and I'm glad that I bought this for five dollars each because they work perfectly. This one especially I've already tested it and it is working really well. The light meter everything works on this camera. There's even battery in it believe it or not and it's working really well and this was all for five dollars guys five dollars amazing this is a product that I use the slice all uh, product here disinfectant wipes right and I just wipe give it a nice generous wipe I make sure that the wipes or the liquid does not get on the lens itself you don't have to put the product on the lens, otherwise it will harm the coating on the lens. But everywhere else, just give it a nice, generous wipe. And after that, just wipe it with a towel or any cloth that can take off dirt without actually leaving residue on it. Um, usually you could also use the microfiber cloths. Before I go, I just want to show you just a view of Calgary in the morning it's nice and quiet just a few cars on the road some cyclists on the bike paths over there it's a nice view